Hexing a child is also a very pussy move. Like, why would you go after the only person in the situation who's innocent? And also people say, oh, if you hex the parent, it'll go down to the child anyways. No, it will not. That is not always the case. If anything, that should make you fucking second guess what you're doing. Because now you have a bunch of innocents involved. And, you know, you can't do whatever the fuck you want and expect no consequences. That's not how any of this works. And I don't have a problem with with people doing dark magic, but you need to know when to apply it correctly. Because not every situation warrants that. And even if it does, you don't hex the fucking kid. Like, can you imagine you carrying a curse since you were little because of what your parents did? And it has absolutely nothing to do with you. You were used as collateral damage. I could never do that. I refuse to do some shit to somebody who does not deserve it. Anybody who tells you otherwise or says they've done it, please look at how their life is. Look at what's going on in their life and really tell me if that's a good decision. Also, spirit is going to apply justice however the fuck they want. They don't have the same moral code as people do. That is one thing. But if you purposely go to the spirits and ask them to fuck somebody's kid up over some petty shit, you are in the wrong. There's no other way to put it. You're in the wrong. Why would you attack an innocent child? Please be careful. Please use your discernment. Please have empathy. Find a correct teacher. Find a correct godparent. And don't listen to what what everybody says on here. Please take whatever is said on here with a grain of salt because these people do not have to live with the decisions you make.